very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so just wanted to mention that what I said last week about the premium signals group was correct and thankfully last Friday and this Monday and today Tuesday we are doing really well and we are recovering a lot of the losses happened last week so this is extreme premium signals page and these are the signals that Angela has sent today uh, so far only in the decad is not going well and so far it's almost in like six or seven pips uh, loss however I believe that the decad in general is gonna fall after this resistance and gonna continue falling down until it hit this previous support level uh, let's check the rest of the signals the signal for the euro GPY is for the buy and we can see right here uh, the trade was opened 120.57 let me see 120 okay this one here the trade was opened here uh, the trade was in profit just a few minutes ago actually uh, this candle just reversed now so you can see that it is now almost in break even uh, I think it's gonna continue its bullish momentum and it's gonna continue rising up uh, let's see the other uh, signals USD GPY for the buy USD GPY for the buy also let me just check where is the line uh, 109.07 109.07 right here exactly so USD GPY so far going in almost 8 pips of profit and the last signal was AUD USD uh, let's check the AUD USD this is the level where it was supposed to be for the buy and so far the AUD USD is going in 17 pips of profit let me just be sure 0.6712 correct so as you can see so far we are doing very well and uh, not to mention of course yesterday uh, we sent the notification to close the euro pound with 70 pips of profit I just wanted to mention also that we sent here a notification to every uh, member in our group reminding them that there will be today a USD news uh, for the ISM PMIs this is usually high impact news which affects the market we send this notification at 3.37 p.m. Dubai time then four hours later the news was really uh, effective on the USD pair and we can see that the trades went on loss however that is of course not our fault at all because we informed everyone to close their trade before this time uh, today also we, sh we send them the notification for the NZD we said that the, there will be the unemployment rate news coming on the NZD pairs at 9.45 p.m. PM GMT, to, uh, GMT time today so they should be careful to close any pair uh, on the trade with the uh, NZD trade opened on them so um, so far going very well and I just wanted to share with you these results of the premium signals group which is doing really very well so far and of course if you want to join this premium signal group please contact Angela you can find her uh, contact details in the, in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you guys in the premium signals group all right so, so let's go now to the uh, actual live trading and maybe you have noticed that my voice is not okay and yes I'm not okay actually I'm having uh, somehow cold and flu I'm not feeling so well to be honest but I just uh, want to cheer myself up by making this video I just felt so much boring uh, on my bed and I just cannot uh, ignore these good setups we are seeing on the market uh, there are so many there are plenty of good setups that we cannot just ignore so let me just uh, try to find some good and decent setup uh, what I'm seeing right here for the pound GPY is actually really good actually you know something um, I'm going to buy immediately without even thinking without even thinking now let me just tell you the reason um, I just need to see this, this on the 30 minute time frame first uh, okay it's loading all right so of course it's very obvious that on the 30 minute time frame we can see that we are having here this support level which has been broken out by this bearish, uh, bullish breakout candle so I believe that this support is gonna keep its position as a support right here and I'm not saying that the pound GPY is going up in general uh, actually I think it might uh, go down however I'm just after this bounce here I believe this support here uh, the, the candle seems like they are gonna bounce on this support and go up all the way 
until hit this previous resistance right here so we are looking for almost 13 14 pips of profit that should be fine 14.6 pips of profit now of course i have to mention also uh, just because we are using the 20 pips a day strategy doesn't mean necessarily that you will get 20 pips for each trade now that's not possible uh, this is what the setup is offering us and uh, this is the only resistance right here this one here so i don't think the market is gonna reverse higher than this level i'm expecting for the support here uh, that the candle is gonna bounce go a little bit more up and this is here what we are having a resistance number one so most likely the candle is gonna go up here create a resistance number two making another attempt uh, of to break to break out from this resistance i believe it's gonna fail and the pair is gonna continue falling more down so let's see what will gonna happen so far we are in loss uh, don't rush to close your trade of course my friends don't ever rush just wait until you see what will gonna happen when the candle actually closes uh, if it's gonna close as a breakout candle then that time you can close the trade with loss let's continue and let's see what's happening with the other pairs i'm just trying to find a decent setup where i can actually do some scalping session so far i don't see anything uh, valid to be honest uh, let me now pause this video my friends and i'll be back to you once i find another trade uh, let's check the AUD and ZD AUD and ZD looks really appealing for sell actually because we can see that the pair is approaching a previous resistance however uh, let me just see that on the previous on, on the 30 minute time frame we can see that we are having here the candle at, yes yes definitely good short nice let me just uh, take you through what just happened here let me explain to you the reason why did I sell the AUD and ZD so what we are having here is a previous resistance on the past however we can see that we have here also a small tail on this candle this is small tail actually representing a previous support level and of course you are on the four hour chart and every candle on the four hour chart representing a support and resistance levels so what i'm seeing here that this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance and the candles most likely are going to fall down just maybe one candle will fall down i think the momentum is really strong what i'm expecting for the ca for the candles to reverse until hitting this previous resistance right here like that this week here is representing the previous resistance so i'm expecting for the candles to actually fall down hitting this previous resistance and then gonna continue its uh, bullish momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance here now not to mention that on the 30 minute time frame let's look at the left and see what we, what we can see here what we can find so what we can find here is this previous support here and i place my trade exactly right on this level where the market uh, almost touched this previous uh, tail here and this support here they both re representing a support level of course and we can expect for the candles to reverse right on this level that is exactly what's happening right now we can see that the pair is actually now reversing i believe it's going to continue falling more down now let me tell you some, something that on the 30 minute time frame is how we decide our entries and also exits so on the 30 minute time frame i can see that i have here a support level therefore this is going to be my take profit level i will set my take profit right on the support level so by that i can get eight pips from this trade which is not bad actually so let's see the other trade uh, the pound gpy is still struggling but i believe eventually is gonna continue its bullish momentum and gonna go up here all the way for, for 15 pips before we can uh, be in profit that's actually very good let's continue and try to find some uh, some other trades forgive me this video is not gonna be long guys i promise because i honestly cannot make it long i cannot keep talking for a long time anyway let's see here we're having here a good setup approaching for the euro aud and i have to wait for the candle to touch this previous support because we are having here a support number one and i'm waiting for the candle to touch support number two La look at the pound in the, the pound gpy is actually going in profit so far very good we can see that we are now 15 dollars of profit total 19 fantastic very nice very nice 
okay good let me try to uh, how, ma how much is that actually 53 dollars nice all right let me just uh, try to find some other setup my friends and i'll be back to you shortly once i find another setup check out the euro pound i'm going to place sell immediately all right allow me to explain the reason why did i place the sell right here um now what we can see on the four hour time frame for the euro pound is this key resistance level uh, this is very important key resistance level and i believe the pair is gonna keep its position right on this resistance and we can see it has already touched the very same level of the resistance now of course that is on the four hour time frame we cannot decide much on that let's go to the 30 minute time frame and we can see clearly that we are having here a resistance level and right here we are having another resistance level uh, next to each other which is really perfect I mean this uh, sell point here is great excellent I'm so happy with it and of course I'm gonna set my tech profit level to be on the nearest support which is right here sadly it's not much I think it's just, just 10 pips maybe 8.6 pips hopefully we're gonna get them all um, of course it's uh, ideal because we're buying the pound we can sell the sell euro pound anyway uh, let me now uh, see what will gonna happen with these trades so far the pound gpy is going in profit so far and for the AUD and ZD also going in profit as I told you it's reversing right from this resistance level so far in almost 4.9 pips uh, profit this one also is uh, reversing so far we are in, in good profit we see how much so far ten dollars let's see how much actually I'm aiming to make this account above uh, four fifty dollars by end of this video so let's hope that we can make it uh, today now let me now pause this video my friends and I'll be back to you shortly once all these trades are over so we can see right now the pound GPY is approaching the tech profit level which is really good actually 10 pips I will take them I will take them because I just don't want to uh, risk waiting for the candle to reach the tech profit level the other trades are actually going good uh, so far doing uh, very well uh, you, the euro pound is falling down uh, I just have to wait more time uh, almost uh, seven pips let's wait more time my friends and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all the other trades guys uh, please forgive me uh, this is gonna be a really short video and I will uh, close it very soon uh, I'm just really not feeling so well <laughs> to be honest I'm sorry I tried uh, but I cannot keep this trade running for a long time uh, just 2.5 pips I will just take it uh, ten dollars let's take them all so right now this account have reached 417 dollars of uh, profit so far I believe the next video is gonna be better uh, anyway, uh, I just hope this video I have given you some ideas about how to trade uh, uh, using the 20, 20 pips a day strategy. And again, uh, sorry for that. Uh, next video will be uh, better. I believe the next video we're going to talk about the price action. I believe it's major, major uh, topic we need to cover. So therefore, I believe uh, next uh, Thursday or Friday maximum, I will make that video so in the end I just really hope uh, this video was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching